This is the last mild day, which is below average, by the way, to get ready for the bitterly cold, dangerous cold weekend coming up. So we're going to have temperatures uh, hovering in the upper 20s today. In fact, we're probably living that right now, this afternoon. It's the next big thing. The cold weather coming in. Our weather alert days for Friday and Saturday due to the dangerously cold weather conditions and the winds coming out of the north. Over the next 12 hours, <clears throat> we're going to see temperatures in the mid to upper 20s. We're going to have a chance of uh, snow, light snow showers coming through the area. Heavier into the mountains, uh, by 4 o'clock, we'll see those temperatures starting to fall off. By 8 o'clock, we will see and feel those north winds and getting much colder. So, lows tonight, 2 below 0 for Spokane, 17 below Bonners Ferry, 13 below Colville, 13 below in Kellogg. So, this is where it affects people, animals. Um, those wind chills that are going to fire up are going to be very cold. So you look at the forecast wind chill, and we're going to have temperatures that are going to be sub-zero for Friday morning. It'll feel like 13 below. It'll feel like 25 below. And that's how it affects your skin and animals. And we're going to be sub-zero for the all the way through Friday. So you really need to pay attention when you're leaving your home, work, um, when you're heading out. The planning forecast, single digits. Uh, expected again Friday, Saturday, Sunday, overnight lows sub-zero all the way through Monday morning. Martin Luther King Day, a high of just 11. And then finally Wednesday, we're back into the 20s with a chance of light snow. But it is dangerous out there for animals, for people. We want you to be very careful and uh, again, bundle up. We'll continue to keep you up to date right here.